What if I told you that the world's first computer algorithm was written 85 years before even the first electronic computer was ever built? What if I told you that programmer was a woman, mentored by the father of the computer, daughter to one of the Britain's greatest poets, almost lost to history? This is the story of Ada Lovelace, a woman way, way, way ahead of her time. Ada Lovelace, also known as Ada King, Countess of Lovelace, was born in the year 1815. Not surprisingly, the marriage of her parents, the Casanova romantic poet Lord Byron and Annabel, a religious and gifted mathematician, did not survive for long. They separated only weeks after her birth. A few months later, Lord Byron left England, and Lovelace never saw her father again, who died in Greece from a fever when she was eight years old. Just like her mother, Ada showed her gift for mathematics at an early age. Annabel feared that she will also get her father's moody and unpredictable temperament. To make sure that Ada stays away from those dangerous poetic tendencies, Annabel kept Ada busy with studying. She employed some of the greatest intellectual minds for Ada, including the physician William King, the social reformer William Friend, and Mary Somerville, the first woman to be admitted into the Royal Astronomical Society. Lovelace was also forced to lie still for extended periods of time because her mother believed it would help her develop self-control. In 1833, 17-year-old Ada was introduced to Charles Babbage, a mathematics professor at Cambridge University, who today is commonly recognized as the father of the computer. Babbage unveiled a small part of his latest machine, a massive mechanical calculator known as the difference engine at a small gathering. De Morgan's wife later wrote When most of the guests looked on with the expression that savages show on seeing a looking glass, Miss Byron, young as she was, understood its working and saw the great beauty of the invention. Babbage was greatly impressed and started mentoring Ada. In 1834, he came up with an even more complex idea of a machine called the analytical engine, structure of which was essentially more or less the same as the modern day computer but as huge as 45 by 15 feet in measurement. It was a brass and iron steam powered machine which included a central processing unit called the mill and expandable memory which he called the stove. The engine used punch cards to input data to make the engine carry different mathematical programs. After looking at the plans of the analytical engine, Ada eagerly went to the cotton mills of North England to study the Jacquard loom, the most advanced machine at the time which also was controlled by a series of punch cards. What she was interested in was knowing how complicated patterns were being translated into something simple that the machine could understand. She later wrote, "The analytical engine weaves algebraic patterns just as the jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves." In 1843, Babbage asked Ada Lovelace to translate an extremely detailed mathematical description of his engine written by an Italian mathematician. Ada worked on the task over the next 9 months. But knowing the engine so well herself, she also added her own notes and ideas, even correcting some of the errors she found in Babbage's own calculations. Ada wrote about the possibility of using the engine to calculate Bernoulli numbers, an algorithm to be carried out by a machine, and thus the first computer program. She proved it by diagramming the computations that the analytical engine would make, which looked like this. She also theorized a method for the engine to repeat a series of instructions, a process known as looping that computer programs use today. Ada noted how the machine could also use letters and symbols and not just numbers as codes to input information. She even gave thoughts on artificial intelligence in her paper. Her work was published in 1843 in an English science journal, earning her fans in Britain's scientific community. Babbage's historian wrote Ada saw something that Babbage in some sense failed to see. In Babbage's world, his engines were bound by a number. What Lovelace saw was that number could represent entities other than quantity. Looking back from the present high ground of modern computing, if we are looking and sifting history for that transition, then that transition was made explicitly by Ada in that 1843 paper. But the analytical engine was never built. In her later years, she tried to win at gambling using mathematical equations but failed. As an adult, Ada had recurrent health problems. She had lingering problems with asthma and her digestive system after a bout of cholera in 1837. On being prescribed an opium-based painkiller, her personality altered and she started having mood swings and hallucinations. 
She died on November 27, 1852 at the tender age of 36 of uterine cancer. 101 years later, her notes were reintroduced to the world by B. V. Bowden, who republished them in Faster Than Thoughts, a symposium on digital computing machines in 1953. Then, during the 1970s, the US Department of Defense developed a high-order computer programming language to supersede the hundreds of different ones then in use by the military. And it was named ADA. ADA is still used around the world today in operation of real-time systems in the aviation, healthcare, transportation, financial, infrastructure and space industries. If you like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.